I have Jennifer Whitehead here to be able to explain uh, flute care. Jennifer, please. Hi. Okay. So, um, polishing and cleaning your flute is very important to clean your flute. As I tell my students, uh, every time you, you play, you should clean it. So you're threading a needle and wrapping that yes. over. How do we do that? And so this is a, this is a I don't know what it's made out of, but just a, a cloth mm -hmm. for cleaning. And you stick it in your um, um, flute, rod. flute tuning rod. Mm -hmm. And then I like to wrap it around the top so it doesn't scratch the inside of my flute. That's awesome. And these brand new ones, um, you kind of have to kind of wear, wear in a little bit because they're kind of stiff. But you want to take the flute apart. And when you take the flute apart, this is something that is very important. Make sure you don't bend these keys and rods. You want to gently hold them uh, closed and turn, making sure that you don't pull it off at an angle so this doesn't get worn away and then you end up with your foot joint falling off in marching band. So, and then pull, hold your hand here on the barrel and pull the head joint out that way. Okay. Never, by the way, never hold your flute like this, just on the head joint because sometimes these are loose. And I've had that happen myself and to several students. Also, oh, the body of the flute slipped and fell. fall and, right out. Oh, that would be yeah, terrible. It's awful. So, if I'm putting my flute up, this is what I always do. And I tell my students it's very important. Just like you wouldn't want to go to bed at night and lay down and, and think about all the sugar bugs that are all over your teeth and not brush your teeth. And think about how they're eating away your teeth. Same thing with putting your flute up and not swabbing it out. Think about all the all the sugar bugs and, and various things down in your flute, <laughs> eating away the inside of your flute and your pads. So you want to always make sure it's clean. And like I said, this is kind of stiff right now because it's brand new. But clean the I always clean my head joint first. It's probably the most the um, spitty part. And then run it through your foot joint and through the body of your flute. You can push it down a little bit. And so you just push it all the way through. Yeah. Okay, great. And so that's good. And then you can pack it up and leave. And it only takes a few seconds to do it. And it's totally important and worth it. Now, um, I have to keep off my thumb port. Some cases you can keep it on while it's in the case. But some, okay. some may have to take off. Um, so about polishing the flute, you never want to... This one is chemically treated with silver polish. And you never want this to go to the inside of your flute. Ever. Because that those chemicals are not good for your pads. Now your head joint... You can scrub and rub and put a little elbow grease in all you want. And then I always go back over it one last time with the, this cloth just to get all the chemicals off of it and make sure that it's, it's good. Um, so when you're cleaning the body of your flute, see there's fingerprints all over it. Um, you want to make sure that you don't get down in the springs or rods or in the pads of the keys. How would you clean those areas? You don't really. Sure. And they make little brushes, but you want to be very careful because you can scratch your flute and you can unhook a spring and then wonder why your flute doesn't play. Typically, what I'm telling uh, beginning and young players is that uh, if they want to get down into those areas, Take they need to bring in. it into a repair shop Absolutely. and have a professional get in there because they will right. yeah, cause right. a maladjustment quickly. Absolutely. So I, I, that's what, exactly what I would Or wear pads away by rubbing it against uh, cloth against the, the pad, too. You can all. see where I had already so so clean all up in here real good and polish and when it starts turning um you know some colors like a kind of a tarnish. blackish or tarnish mm -hmm. so it's just oxidation so everyone exactly oh it's dirty and like you know if you look real closely i don't know if you can get it on a video but there's places on my flute and and you know it does bug me because it's a really nice flute and you see the little but that's not dirt Guess what? It's just you know, oxidation and right. acid from your hands rub, sure. rubbing off on it. And it happens, unfortunately. So, and then go back over it with, with the, that to make sure that you get all the chemicals off. How often should you do that? Because that's um, always a big question. I would always swab it out every time you play. Okay. Period. And then the polishing. Yeah, and then the polishing, I guess it just depends on how tedious you want to be. But I would say that probably at least maybe every couple of weeks I would polish it. Sure. But um, if you are playing a lot or you want your flute nice and shiny for your band concert or whatever, then polish it up. Awesome. You know. Also, there is silver. There are silver polish that you can use for some gold. I don't know if that works on gold. I guess it does. It does. Um, you can take a little bit of that. Head joint, go, go to town on it, you know, but you want to be very careful that you never get any kind of uh, silver polish, the kind you would uh, clean your jewelry with, on um, 
any of the pads or near the keys. So you could maybe put just a little dab with a Q-tip, just very gently up in here maybe. Maybe here if you're careful not to let it drip down into the keys. But again, I, I would be... I'm going to caution every beginning player. Be very player cautionary to about that. that. Yeah. And I, you know, unless you're like a, a advanced upper high school student or or something like that, I wouldn't even try that. Right. Um, however, um, you can bring it in to have it serviced, and and that can clean it up real good. And teach you how to do it. Yeah. Yeah.